Yeah, and he took us into the prison as well um, and shared what happened also. Yeah. Tell us your testimony, Hugh. Yeah, well, I've been saved now almost 30 years. Um, I was saved on the 4th of July, 1976. And um, what happened with my connection, how I got to know Martin was, I knew Martin through church, but how I got to know Martin and involved in the prison ministry was a number of years ago I had a very bad fall in work and um, had completely dislocated this whole shoulder. Um, and after a couple of years, um, I changed jobs and the whole thing came back again. And, and what had happened was the shoulder had collapsed muscle-wise and bone-wise, and a lump had appeared on the top of it, a lump about the size of a grape, probably about that size. And um, there was lots of things going on in my life at that time, because this job, I needed to be able to lift things. So really, down the line, I was going to lose my job because of the injury. So what happened was Martin met me in church uh, one Sunday morning. We are going to church. And he says, Hugh, your arm's really bad. I says, yeah, I've only, I've only got 30% movement in it. And he says, look, I'll pray for you after church. Well, I have to be honest with you and say, I wasn't in the frame of mind to be, even to be prayed for. There was so much going on in my life at that particular time that, uh, honestly, after church, I tried to avoid Martin going home. You know, but Martin has this knack of, of, of sort of sourcing you out and finding you. So um, he met me anyway after church and we went into a small classroom and we sat down and Martin prayed the simplest prayer, I believe the same prayer that's, that's, in, that's in the booklet and he would use in, in the ministry. And halfway through when Martin was praying, he says, Hugh, you're, the lump has gone. It's disappeared, the lump's away. And I, I says, Martin, keep praying, just keep praying. Um, and after we'd stop praying, after Martin had stopped praying, he says, Look, he says, Hugh, stand up, you know, move your arm, do something. And I was able to move this arm wherever I wanted to put it. The whole thing had, was completely healed. God had completely healed the whole thing. Um, which meant that, that, you know, bones had to realign themselves because the x-rays in the hospital showed that the bones were all out of shape and that there was muscle torn away. So that all had to be put right, and that was all put right in an instant. Wow. You know, just by the grace of God, you know. So, but not only did that, was it a tremendous healing you know, of, of my shoulder, but it safeguarded my job. It took all that pressure away, you know, from the whole family of, of losing the, the whole job. So um, that was really, I mean, you could talk for so long about all this, this shoulder, but um, that was really it in a nutshell.